Today I wanted to show you some thrifty finds that we that we've come across lately. Um, these chairs right here, we have eight of them, and some of them are pretty dirty now. <laughs> but we got these totally for free because a hotel was remodeling, and um, my husband Miles and our 12-year-old Jacob were going dumpster diving. And they got these totally for free. They're very sturdy. The backs did kind of come off of a couple of them, but it was just a matter of gluing it back on. But we found eight of those, and we needed just more seating in general, so it was a nice find. But um, we use them around the table for now. And there's some other things that I got yesterday. Let me get to where my shadow is not over it. Okay. This is one I was pretty proud of. Now, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't... You know, I, I, I probably bought it for a lot less than I would have online or something, but $6.99, I didn't want to pay that much for it, but it's really good quality, and you can actually put that in the oven. It's by Temptations, I think is the name of it, and it's just really cute, and it had this little lid to go over it, and <clears throat> one thing that I was really excited about is as I was checking out, the lady said, oh, there's a rack to that, too. So she went and found this rack. It all goes together. I was just going to buy it, the dish with the lid. But that goes with it. I thought that was really cool. So seven bucks for that. I did look them up on um, online, and the cheapest ones I found were 11 or $12. And there was one I saw on eBay for like 33 or 35 something like that can't get that back on there with one hand. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. This is an apron that I just thought was really cute. But, came home and looked this up. Velada, they make um, baking goods, but some kind of like baking tools and stuff. I'm not really sure exactly, but I think they're, it's a line by Scentsy, or maybe Scentsy bought them. I'm not quite sure, but they're related to Scentsy somehow. And this is a really cute apron. Let's see if I can get this unfolded here. I just thought that was really cute, a really cute pattern. And my 14-year-old daughter has already claimed this, so I'm going to give that to her. Let her, wear, let her keep that one. She likes aprons. These right here are crocheted, and they're really thick. And there's two of them. They were 49 cents each. I really like that. So I may put one or both in the traveling treasure box. Haven't decided exactly what I'm going to put in there yet. But I was excited about those because I like crocheted things. And that was a really good deal. So um, I found a couple of these nutcrackers. And I didn't. <laughs> I got a text. Um, I didn't have any, so I decided to get one. I thought, huh. Eh, might get one more for the treasure box um that's probably what i'll do with the extra one so those weren't necessarily cheap but you know probably would have been a little more brand new it was 99 cents both of them were but i bought them at two different places these also again not cheap necessarily but they're very very strong plastic and my little ones are always wanting to help in the garden so 99 cents each i got two of those that was all they had um i found this bag full of children's hangers. I didn't count them because <laughs> I haven't opened the bag yet. But that was $2 for the whole bag. And uh, I think we have enough adult size hangers, but we don't have that many child size ones. My youngest is still four and has smaller clothes. So I was glad to find that. And again, they like to help out in the garden. And I found, I actually have four. I don't know where my biggest one went there. <laughs> They confiscated it, but um, these two, these were 49 cents each. has pebbles inside it. The guy at the thrift store said those were free, so I was excited about that. <laughs> and then this bigger one here was a dollar, and then I have another one that's even bigger that was also a dollar. Okay, this game right here, um, $2.99. I don't really consider that a, a really good deal or anything, but it's Finding Dory, which just came out last summer. So, um, you know, we homeschool, and I mean, this is just a memory game, but I use things like this with my children um, for fun and for learning, and they'll love this. So for $2.99, I thought that was, that was a pretty good deal for, for homeschooling. So 
or just a fun game because they like, I mean, it's all the same to them, you know. They learn from the fun things they do. They learn through play. This I picked up for $2. Um, I believe it's made by Tupperware. I had a couple of these growing up, and so I saw this, and I was like, oh, yeah, I love these things. It's in perfect condition, and what you do is you just... This thing mixes it, and this, the lid fits really snug. Let's see if I can get it off. Some of you may have seen these. Um, you just put whatever you're making, tea, lemonade, punch, whatever, and you can put ice in it. And sometimes I used to, I used to like to put the ice on the bottom because it would float up whenever you do this, and then you push it back down, and it just got the drink really cold really fast. So it's a lot of fun for kids, and it works really, really well. So found that for a couple bucks. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but that that apron right there, it was marked at $4, but I got a half price, so $2 for an apron that really cute for my daughter. Um, now I had already filmed this <laughs> a few minutes ago, and uh, I guess I pushed the wrong button or something, so I got to do it again. So all of these were in a in a bag together. All of these crocheted things right here, all of this for $10, there were, I counted these, 25, most of them were squares, uh, probably just like little pot holders, that's what they look like, and I'll probably use those for either dish rags, or we can stitch them together and have us a little afghan. <clears throat> this is a small afghan, like maybe a little lap quilt, or, or maybe a baby one, but it's really soft, so it could be a baby blanket. And these, I... I think that's called the popcorn stitch. I've done it before, but it's been years. <laughs> um, I mean, it's really pretty. I like that. I like the texture of it. There are three of these, and at first I thought maybe they were scarves, but this one's a little bit longer than the others. It looks like it was going to be maybe a blanket or something. This thing was on it, but that's squares right there. So I don't know, but that was that was on the. It's connected. This, <laughs> these things, all these things, especially that little baby blanket, has safety pins all over it. So that was a bonus. I got some pins because I don't think I have any at the moment. Um, partial skein of yarn. So just put that in the yarn box. We have some yarn we use for other things. And one more thing came in this big bag for $10 this afghan right here. Isn't that pretty? I really love the stitching on it. Let's sit down here. I really love the stitching on it and the colors and it's just, I don't know, it's just pretty. I love crocheted afghans. So, um, it's actually a pretty good size there. And that came in that big bag for $10. So I think that was a really good deal. 25 of those things and so uh, I was pleased with that. I didn't want to buy it at first because I didn't want to really spend ten dollars. I just I was just looking for a couple of these, but in the long run I can use them for different things, even gifts. You know I can I can do a lot with them. So uh, I was pretty happy with that. I was gonna say <laughs> these little squares right here remind me of my childhood years when my grandma taught me how to crochet. My mom did not know how to crochet. She could knit. I'm not even sure where she learned that at. But my grandma could not knit. So my grandma could crochet. My mom could knit. And then my grandma taught me how to crochet. My mom actually just recently learned how to crochet. So these um, these just remind me of my grandma. And she taught me how to crochet when I was young. But then as a young adult, before I got married, um, I was able to go live with her for a few months. I was helping her get her meds all straightened out because she was starting to get confused and things. Um, she just needed help, you know, making sure she only took what she needed to. And anyway, I just had to kind of check up on her. She still did it on her own. But anyway, um, she would sit at one end of the couch and I would sit at the other end of the couch. Sometimes we didn't even talk and we would just share yarn if we needed to. and. We would, um, we would do little puzzles out of magazines like crosswords and search words. And, and we would watch Wheel of Fortune and we would crochet. We did some needlepoint too. A um, little bit of cross stitch. But I will always, that's probably my fondest memory of my grandma's. Just 
just crocheting with her. It was a lot of fun. So I think that's it. Most of our clothes are either hand-me-downs or from the thrift store. And it's harder for the big kids and adults, but especially the younger kids, though. Um, they don't wear things out as much. They grow too fast, so some things I find almost brand new. Um, I didn't get any clothes yesterday, I don't think. I, I think I got myself one pair of pants for a dollar or two. I, I can't remember how much it was. But um, some good deals. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, today's shout out, there's so many good channels out there that are still small and so most people just haven't found them yet. And I want to promote them all, but I have to do one at a time. So um, today's shout out is going to go to Ann Crumb's Mini Homestead News, I believe is the name of it. The link is in the description below. So go check her channel out. She's pretty cool. She's got some great videos on there. Go check it out, and thank you very much. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. Mama, Hold on, Jack. No, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I was trying to undo it.